welcome guys to a new video on my channel. Willkommen Leute auf einem neuen auf einem neuen Video auf my channel. Uh, this time I'm gonna show you guys how to play on Pirate's Tale in Roblox. How to get some money, I mean. Uh, ich werde euch heute zeigen, wie man Pirate's Tale in Roblox mm, Geld verdienen kann. So, uh, I am right now Port Pirate. Ich bin jetzt gerade ein Port Pirate. Ihr seht es ja hier. Um, so I'm only gonna speak uh, English first and then I'll do it in German. Alright, good. So, um, the best start for you guys as a Port Pirate or a Cave Pirate, it doesn't matter what you are right now. But the best way is to go to a bartender first. Let's say you can even go to um, to the not bartender, I'm stupid. Well, you can actually do the bartender, but it's not that hard. There are some colors I'll show you. You just talk to him, and I like to work here, and this will pop off. You see him? You press the button. Blah, blah. Here's the help. The tutorial, so you can, of course, get some money. This gives you. Not that much, but here, yeah. I like to show it with the tail or The best way how I got some money was with the tailor, and it took me half an hour to get 2k or I don't know how long I actually took. You just see this girl or person, then you get the shirt and you get some money again. That's white, green, red, pink, blue, black. So I think again. You get 20 or 30 or however you want. It actually just gives you a lot of money and it doesn't really take that long and it's pretty easy. He doesn't help again. Like this. Check the cost. Blah blah blah. Just get the shirt for him. Press on the customer and you're done. Um, but there's actually a timer too. Let's just wait for a second. What a terrible service. Same if you press on it, this is not my order. That means you cannot give him the same clothes like the other person. You have to give him the one he wants. Now, uh, this best method right now for the start. I'll extra uh, despawn my ship, the freighter. So, uh, you can of course dig some treasure too. Pot Pirates has one right now. It only takes one, one half, half minute, I think. And then you are and you get treasure too. You get 20, 200. Then you go to the ship, ship right, and get a freighter. 1500. It has wait, what is it? A more than amount of speed and health, but with little offensive capital used for moving large amounts of cargo will force PvP on when active. Megalodon just left, by the way. Um, so you have to have 1,500 cash for the ship. You see right there, that's a cargo, and I'll show you how to do it soon now. You then need to go to the general shop and buy a map for 1002. It's called, where is it? There, Cargo Drop Point Net Map. It costs 1002. If you have it in your inventory, it, well, not in your inventory, in your hand actually, you can you just see in first person the map, of course. But if you go press M, you can see an X, and there's the drop off for the cargo. I will show you how I actually get some money. Of this. Oh, and you can get one. F no, not one thousand of it. You can get six thousand every full cargo. You, you can get. Wait, one second. If you can get forty cargos, and that means if you do some little map, if you get six k. Out of only one cargo, you 
can get 40 40 K out of um, only five cargos. The cargos are not that hard to do. To. Actually, we should try to go over this bullshit. Come on, bullshit. Can I try to come Drafting. Okay. Now we can get it from the side. And now I can get the Just get to go near the cargo and so we can don't take damage with the ship. Then can you stop breaking? Um, then you just go here and press on it once. You go back on the ship and press on any kind of wooden place like those. They are pla black right now because I was painting my ship in line. Can you stop breaking? Alright. And it gives you 6,000. I'll actually show you that it only gives you well that you can any, only place four on one place I'm not lying guys but it is true of course you can do it with friends too so they can help you and therefore that's the maximum of course you can see here's a one two but it doesn't really do anything just decoration so um <coughs> if you do this and go to the map Again, that's the X and that's the cargo drop off. You get 6,000 out of it, and I'll actually drive there to show you how much you get of only one little box of four. So, and now I'll speak German so the German people can even hear, uh, do the same like you guys can. Also Leute, ähm, ihr habt es ja gerade gesehen, ihr könnt zum Bartender gehen und da Geld holen oder beim Taylor, der Typ, der euch Klamotten gibt. Ihr könnt ihr auch Sachen verkaufen natürlich, als Klamotten. Ihr seht ja hier, so schaue ich aus, das habe ich alles gefarmt, kauft sogar mit 50.000 Gold, habe ich alles gefarmt. <lacht> und dann könnt ihr diesen Cargo auch machen für 250.000, ihr braucht diese Map beim General Shop und dieses Schiff namens Freitag. Da ist es auch nochmal. Wenn ihr das habt, könnt ihr dahin, um euren Cargo zu holen und könnt insgesamt 40 ja, Kisten dahin tun. Ihr fährt dann extra zum X und da ist der Drop-Off. Ich zeige euch jetzt auch, wie viel ihr von einer Box bekommt oder sogar vier. Bekommt nicht wirklich viel, aber ja. And now the third and not really last um, kind of farming way. If you are pretty high and have a crew actually, like if you are level 20 and have a galleon or maybe even some relics, like I have, I have all sorts, I did buy all sorts, but I have uh, the Arbiter King, Striden, the Inferno Sword, um, then you maybe need the, where is it? Nah, not the flame code. You can get the Soul Siphon. Or a Frost Reaver or the Precursor Shield. It's the f uh, best shield you can actually get. Frost Reaver, eh, it's just a sort, sort and shield, but it doesn't do anything in my hands. Of course, you can get some weapons too. It's not that really hard to get. By the way, Steampunk and Admiral Clothing are only PvP rewards. You can if PvP on. You can destroy ships and kill any players. Players, if you are a pirate, that's cave pirates. So I'm right now here, and I'll show you the way. Uh, now, actually, the third method is to get some bosses like the Kraken, Megalodon, or the Ghost Fleet. They do give you a lot of cash, but it's pretty hard to do alone. So you should probably I would actually say, if you have, if you are fighting a galleon, no, I mean, 
if you want to fight the Megalodon, you probably need some skilled players that know how to beat it. Um, same with the Kraken, but the Kraken isn't that actually hard to do. It's pretty easy actually. Uh, now uh, I should look at the boxes so I can know the money. 173. It's good enough for the stars, and you get how much? 1000? Well, you can kind of get one, nearly 1000 if you but if you get one, two, or maybe even with the four. Only, but actually you need like five to get one thousand. So now I actually just want the boat again. This is how you just saw how I get it. You get the box again. You drop here and click on this box. Also you get the knife wieder aus Schuss. Nehmt eure Boxen, tut sie hier verkaufen. Now, uh, still, uh, the Ghost Fleet is actually the easiest one. It's just three Ghost Chips. Now, actually, show you. Uh, what I mean with it. Let me respawn. So you can actually get a ship out of the Ghost Fleet. It's called the Ghost Fleet Cutter. The Ghost Fleet Cutter isn't really that special. By the way, you can get some drinks too. You cannot work here because there are only, well, undead. Just a ship writer here too. If you died, it's a ghost again. We can talk to him and buy a boat, and then you have it. Oh yeah, and that's the background, by the way. It's pretty good. You're underwater, pretty deep, yeah. And actually, I'll do some videos how to get the relics with a different account. And yeah, it's not really that hard to get all of them. There are of course different um, You can actually get some different drops. Even I got some drops also from the Megalodon, like his shield. Can't really look at it, but it's actually an eye. Wait. I'll show you soon enough. It's not like there we go. There you can see it. It's pretty black and so. Then I actually got a Kraken Trident from the Kraken. You can probably see it like this. Yeah, looks good enough, yeah. Uh, what's uh, the Ghost Fleet hand cannon is from, of course, the Ghost Fleet and the sword. And of course, you can even get some clothings. By the way, I'll actually show you guys how and what you can get. Out of those, I'll get my curse away. You can get like me those fangs or from the Megalodon. Then the knife, the Ghost Fleet mask from the Ghost Fleet. The same with the hats. No, wait, oops, that's a Kraken one, and here's a Ghost Fleet one. But extra like the hood and the. Nightfall banana. Of course, you can get even get some hooks and legs here, and even more. Actually, you can get a lot. It's not really that hard to get. Wait, one second. Uh, where's it? Here's a ghost free coat. Uh, you can even get some accessories like this guy. Then from shadows. No, no, no. That's what you can actually buy. Uh, you can get a Kraken shoulder buddy from the Kraken dropped. Then you can get some pants too. There's a Ghost Fleet one. There's a Crew Kraken one. And curses. I have two curses right now. It's the curse, 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 and the shadow one. Yeah, even get some titles. From the Kraken, you get Kraken Slayer. You get Wraith Slayer from the Ghost Fleet. And Megalodon, very are from the Megalodon. So, uh, you can actually even get some curses out of it. It's not really that hard to get. Ooh.
Das, was ich gerade gesagt habe heute, ist, dass es wirklich sehr spaßig sein kann, sowas zu farben. Da bei dem Tier könnt ihr was auch kaufen, da könnt ihr Klamotten kaufen, da könnt ihr euch ja umziehen, sagen wir so. Ähm, und das, als drittes Method, also dass ihr Geld machen könnt, ist sogar durch Bosse. Zum Beispiel in dem Kraken, also der Krak, okay. So. Der Megalodon, okay. Ähm, dann die Geistplatte. Ja. Äh, oh yeah, by the way, guys, you can actually get some ships. Like this one I dropped, got from the Megalodon. It's the ship. Well, actually, it's the shark. But I'm actually, actually, actually going for the shark right now for the Megalodon. And I'll show you guys how it looks like. How it looks like. If he attacks you, and I'm just gonna say, if it's like this, pretty dark, and you can't really see, it's gonna say it's pretty, it's pretty scary. There, yeah, there you saw it in the shadows, probably, maybe, I don't know. I'm actually going for it, so you guys can see it. It's pretty scary, but it can attack from everywhere. There are two guys right now going for the Megalodon, but of course they cannot do it because they need like four ships alone for the Megalodon. And <coughs> that's the Megalodon. Who will attack soon? There you saw it again. That you schon wieder gesehen. Da war der Megalodon. Es ist Riesenhai. Vielleicht habt ihr ja die Megalodon Geschichte sogar gehört. Solltet ihr auch eigentlich. Das ist auch wirklich ein Ding, was ihr sehen solltet. Das, der ist der Megalodon again. Pretty big, pretty big, pretty much with health. And actually, if you have a shark or Ethel or something, you can poke it with. Attack, it will attack me now. There you see it again. It's not really that hard to do. Like here's the hitbox of it. And what I can do is just rotate, 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 rotate. It will now attack me. You see, it comes from the water. Probably. There it is. It now follow me. That will be one attack, or it comes from anywhere near you and attacks you. There's actually a glitch that your ship does not take damage if you don't sit down like I am. It's actually losing some health, but not a lot, because I'm only doing 100 each circle. See you again will now attack me again, it comes from here. Oh no. There it was. J I'm just doing some turnarounds and then it will attack them again. See now. Never mind, it's going for that ship. Make sure doing some damage to it. It's one of the thousand ways to beat the Megalodon. But it's of course the laziest one. Because you only need to press two buttons. And you always have to listen to this little scream so you know it attacks you or someone else. If you have a galleon like those two, you can shoot with a wooden button as the as the crewman and uh, I mean the captain. But if you shoot you say fire and it takes one little second or even not that much. I don't actually know how long it takes. But you have to like think, will it, will it attack me now? Will it attack someone else? If yes, like this, then you should really look out. Of course, the Megalodon ship, shark ship has a lot of health, so I don't really have to care. Will it attack me now again? There it is, and now I die. That's how, it, that's how fast it goes. Now, because we died, I'll actually say, uh, also, so könnt ihr ja eigentlich auch ein bisschen Damage machen und so weiter und so fort. Es gibt halt wirklich sehr vieles. Uh, so, I guess I helped you a little bit. If not, uh, then comment what I should have done. And yeah. By the way, guys, you cannot get the this Dutchman one, but you can, of course, look at it. So, uh, actually, I'm showing you all the boats now. 
One is a dinghy, a shona, a raft, a galleon. A banana boat? That's the same with... The banana boat is actually just a slower version of... Well, not really, it's not a slow version, just the same version as the Ghost Fleet Cutter. The Ghost Fleet Cutter is permanently and Banana Boat is not. It has a cooldown, of course, like the same all other boats. But you have to buy it all the time. There's an Oriental, of course, uh, then a Battle Barge. It's for kind of for dungeons. And a Freighter, like I said, the, the sm smaller one, the Shark Ship. The first, the normal one, the pearl you can get, the black pearl, you know, the sunken legend actually, but only for one guy. The uh, different shark ships, the, of course. Oh yeah, by the way, those are the fastest ones you can get normally. This is an afo. It has a spike right here, so you can ram the that. Make a load on. This is for a Kraken, actually, the I Aegis. You have a big cannon and you can shoot. Here's a one. Uh, it is armed with a large arterial cannon that has to be manual loaded, but r can rain down up to five cannonballs at a time from constant range. Unlocked by playing PvP. You can only get it unlocked by playing PvP. This is the fastest one you can actually get without, um, well, buying something with. Bucks. This is my ship. I got dropped from Megalodon World event large enough to damage ships with its jaw. Here it is, the jaw. Then Wurzel, it's a total of four. It's just a turtle, I guess. Then here's the f the one you can buy. B very weak, but incredible fast. That means even if you had it once, it's dead. But it got got uh, plus one per second, respawn time five minutes. But it's the fastest one you can actually get right now. So yeah. And I actually I, I'm showing you guys the best ship of all. It has one two thousand, okay? Two thousand. Three thousand uh thirty thirty five hundred. Sunk legend that much. The ships don't really have that much, the shark ships. We get it. Ten thousand. This is the strongest boat right now. If you ever play PvP with PvP on, you can actually farm it, just break some boats. Good enough, good, strong enough to, and yeah, you don't really have to beat it that much. Well, I hope I helped you guys. Ich hoffe, ich hoffe euch geholfen ein bisschen. Wenn ich zu viel Englisch geredet habe, tut's mir wirklich leid. Aber ich muss auch wirklich Englisch reden, weil mein Kanal mehr Englisch ist als Deutsch, auch wenn Deutsch meine Hauptsprache ist und meine Lieblingssprache auch und natürlich da, wo ich wohne. Also Deutschland. Ne? Nicht, dass ich Deutsch, Deutsch spreche. Also ich hoffe, ihr habt einen guten Tag noch. Ich mache diese Megalodon und ja. Bye bye. Und ich hoffe wirklich, dass ihr einen guten Tag habt, weil mein Tag wurde ein bisschen vom Anfang verschlechtert und Aber, also es wurde ein bisschen besser, der Tag, aber ja. Ich hoffe, ihr habt wirklich einen guten Tag. Wenn nicht, dann schreibt bitte in den Kommentaren, warum. Und ich kann euch vielleicht helfen. Und ja. Bye, bye. Well, guys, I hope you have a great day, because my day wasn't that really good today. And I really hope uh, that you have one. If you're not, then please tell me why, and I will try to help you a little bit with coming back. So um bye bye guys and uh, well guys bye bye have a great day. See ya someday uh. Tell me that you love me